The Nakajima T115 was a kamikaze suicide strike plane manufactured during World War II to halt the advances of US forces. Despite some successes, the aircraft were insufficient to halt or hinder the US assault of the home islands. To overcome this issue, the Japanese developed a purpose-built kamikaze plane that was technically simple, easy to mass produce, and had workshops scattered around the country. Pilot training for kamikaze was supposed to last one month, but uh, owing to fuel shortages, it usually lasted around two months. Despite the inadequate training, the Nakajima Ki-115 is considered a notable development in the history of kamikaze aircraft. Nakajima's Ki-115 airplane was planned to be constructed of minimal non-ferrous metals like aluminum, copper, brass, wood, and inexpensive steel. It was meant to take off with a single bomb from some standard forward airfields and accommodate multiple radial engines ranging from 800 to 1300 horsepower. The highest speed was 340 km per hour, around 211 miles per hour with the bomb load, and the greatest dive speed was supposed to be around 500 km per hour, around 320 miles per hour. The Ki-115 was used by both the Japanese Army Air Force and the Japanese Navy with the Army's designation translating to SWORD and the Navy's name translating to Wisteria Blossom. Nakajima Ki-44 Tojo had a wing loading of 38 pounds per square foot and a wing configuration comparable to the Ki-115. Flaps were installed after takeoff mishaps since planes did not have them at first. The fuselage was constructed of welded tube steel, with front part coated in aluminum and the rear section covered in thin sheet steel. The Paima Air Museum in Arizona houses a model of a Ki-115 plane with an aluminum fuselage, skin or steel skin. The tail was composed of wood and the elevator, rudder and the ailerons were fabric covered as was usual in 1945. For ease of design and manufacturing, the fuselage had a circular cross section and a constant diameter. The motor mount layout was meant to take a variety of engines, although the specifics of how this was accomplished are unknown. In practice, each Ki-115 was equipped with a Nakajima HA-115-2 engine that produced around 1130 horsepower. Due to causes such as rivalry between the Japanese Army Air Force and the Japanese Navy, which resulted in multiple designations for the same engine, the Japanese generally had numerous distinct names for exact same engine. That's why the engines of the Ki-105 is virtually the same engine used in various A6M0 such as the HA-35, SOC, SOCA and the NK-1. The Nakajima HA-105-2 which were produced or featured critical parts of the Hazadoki which eventually became Daihatsu was the precise variant utilized in most major 115s. During World War II, the Ki-115 was a rudimentary yet outmoded aircraft with a 1130 horsepower engine and a three-bladed constant speed propeller. Except for the bow, which was recessed inside the fuselage, it was unarmed. The bow was exposed to the slipstream, which decreased drag. Because of the extra drag from the open cockpit, it was one of the last open cockpit battle planes. The design was a death trap, with poor quality control and inexperienced pilots contributing to its flaws. The Japanese leadership saw the flaws in the design and concept of kamikaze strikes. If these planes were used in a massive attack on sea strikes, like a US carrier group, the planes would be destroyed after landing, resulting in the loss of most or all the planes. Even if a returning kamikaze pilot made a perfect landing, he or she would be unable to retrieve or relaunch hundreds of Ki-105 as they returned to base. This was especially true during Japan's defense against US invasion of Okinawa defense. The Japanese had no method of recovering pilots, resulting in a near total loss of both planes and pilots. Because of their difficulty to detect targets, the Ki-105 fighter planes were not deemed air-winning techniques. An average kamikaze pilot flew their airplane five times before locating a suitable target during the war making the concept of a plane that cannot land untenable. One kamikaze pilot performed nine sorties without identifying a suitable target only to be shot down by his superiors when he returned. If around 100 planes are sent out on a mission and only five of them reach their target, 
another 400 are lost on flights that failed to identify targets. It was not a successful tactic to lose 500 planes and 500 pilots in order to score a few hits. The Japanese built many enhancements to the Ki-105 before cancelling the program including the 105 Artsu and 105 RT. These enhancements included enhanced wing design, rocket connection sites and bomb dropping capability, signaling a change from suicide strikes to mass raids. The plane's design was also changed to allow it to drop its bomb, signifying a shift away from suicide assaults and towards mass raids. However, without landing gear, the plane's survival proved impractical. With slightly over 100 aircraft produced, production ceased and no Ki-115 aircraft reached combat units or flew a mission. Surprisingly, the aircraft was unknown to the Allies until after the war. The program depleted resources, spent money and killed people, resulting in a net loss for Japan. However, the plane's significance stems from its potential to illustrate that by mid-1945, the Japanese had realized the importance of pilots and that they were not disposable. Thanks for watching. I have more similar videos on my channel that you may like. See you guys in the next video.